everybody, Server Nerd here, how you guys doing? I uh, got my reviews up for yesterday, and uh, yesterday was new comic book day, so uh, I'll tell you what I thought of uh, the books I read. Uh, I read some pretty good stuff. Uh, I thought Terrific was really good, uh, Terrific issue 6. Uh, I said that. You know, it isn't selling good, which sucks, because I really like this book. It re it's more like the old Fantastic Four than, you know, whatever Marvel's going to do, because I'm not a big fan of the slot monster. Uh, uh, Marvel 2-in-1, you know, which should be more like a Fantastic Four book, and started really good, I thought it was boring. I thought issue 8 was very boring. Uh, if we're comparing, you know, I'd much rather read Terrifics than Marvel 2-in-1. And, uh... <laughs> I don't know. It This issue was just boring. I didn't find it very exciting at all. Some people might have liked it. I didn't care for it too much. Sentry uh, number two was probably the best thing I read this week. I tell you what, man. I really liked this, man. Uh, I thought the first one was good, and I thought the second issue was great, man. This was just great. Uh, a lot of stuff happens in this book. Like, whoa, you know. First one's kind of the setup, and the second one's just boom already out the gate man just like whoa so yeah century two if you're not reading that out uh, that was definitely worth a read uh great uh infinity wars prime one i read this and uh it was okay it just felt really fillery like not a lot happens in it and uh the stuff that does happen i was like i oh, don't you know nothing great i didn't think it was anything special it was okay i didn't hate it uh didn't love it Justice League number one, Dark, I thought was, uh, uh, it was good. Uh, it, it's just get going. It's the first issue, but, uh, I liked it. I like team books a lot, so I've said before, you know, so. <coughs> Even a mediocre team book, you know, nowadays is still, like, better than what you normally get. So, yeah, this wasn't bad. It was pretty good. I, I uh. I like this first issue, so we'll see where it goes from here. But, uh, you know, I'm not a huge fan of James Tynan the fourth. I, I find his writing can tend to get a little boring. But the first issue was good. We'll see where it goes. Uh, Hal Jordan, 49, was really, really good. Uh, this book's been solid from the get-go. I don't think I've read a bad issue of it. So, yeah, this is, this is great. I think 50's the last one, and they're switching over with Morrison. And, uh... Liam Sharp, which should be cool, but uh, I kind of worry about, I don't know, the direction that DC's going, because uh, this book is great. Why take Vendetti off of it now? I don't understand. Yeah, because like, the book is really good now. Like, Just let him keep doing what he's doing, because this book is great. I don't. I mean, I'd like, I like. I love Grant Morrison, don't get me wrong, uh, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, he's switching a creative team when a book's this good, man. I don't know. I don't get it. Uh, Doomsday Clock, number six. Uh, a lot of people like this. A lot of people love it, man. I. It's okay. I, I feel it's very... Uh, just blah. Like, I, I, I expected a big event book, you know, something in the lines of inf Infinity, Infinite Crisis, or Crisis on Infinite Wars, or Infinite Crisis, or Final Crisis. I, I expected something big, and I kind of just get a bunch of character studies, and something that's kind of written like do like Watchmen, and I don't know. It wasn't what I expected. Is it well written? Yes. Is it boring? No, but it's not what you expect, and it's it's just so slow. I mean, big, huge event, yeah, I can wait two years for it. This? I don't, I mean, I'm just like, oh my god, what, you know? I don't know, it doesn't seem like a book that it's going to keep people that interested when it's going for two years, you know, and it's this, like, just character studies of new characters. Yeah, it feels like it's a prequel to something or a setup for something, you know? It doesn't feel like it's anything. For something that I have to wait, you know, every two months for. Uh, Detective Comics 985. Uh, this is good. This is really, really good. I think uh, this is better than uh, what's going on in the Batman book. Uh, Jury Duty Batman. And, uh, I, uh, yeah, I think this is way better. So, yeah, I, 
I, I like this. I like the villain Karma. He's kind of created. And, uh, this is the origin of that villain, which is really, really good. So, yeah. I This arc has been really good. Brian Hill's arc on uh, Detective is excellent. If you're not reading this, yeah, I highly recommend it. My big pick for the week, though, still got to go with Century Issue 2, man, because that was just a great book. Uh, my opinions on the Jim Jeffries uh, Comedy Central thing, uh, it was stupid. <laughs> it wasn't funny, man. Like, his bad Zimmerman stuff, it was just stupid. And, uh, yeah, I... I don't get it. I don't. Uh, I don't get uh, Comedy Central. They're just a terrible network, and it just blows me away that Dan C went on there, man. Of all the places you could go, man, Comedy Central is like the worst, man. But yeah, I mean, other than South Park, does anybody watch? It's just all propaganda. If that's all it is, it's just pure propaganda. So like, I don't know who watches it, but yeah. Uh, I thought it was stupid. I thought it was uh, it was a very good hit piece. Uh, you could totally tell that it was edited on the Superman stuff. <coughs> I knew before he even did the video that it was edited. I watched it, you know, and I was just like, wow, that was edited. And uh, you could tell. Yeah, I think most people can tell nowadays. I think people know fake news, you know, and they know Comedy Central's 100% fake news. Uh, I think it's funny that Mags and Tim Doyle and them are all upset about it because I think that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, they were going to make him look like a racist, but they didn't do a very good job. So, I mean, it's silly and dumb. And uh, Jim Jeffries is a hack, man. I can't believe he was the guy that, you know, this is the guy I've heard say filth, just pure filth. And uh, drunken, coke headed, you know, whatever, dude. Uh, who just talks and tells nasty jokes is sitting there saying that it's a bad idea to call a woman a cum dumpster. Like, Jim Jeff, seriously. Like, they, they get these shock jocks to uh, do the SJW stuff. It doesn't make any sense. It'd be like Howard Stern complaining, you know, like, you get shock jocks to do this. I mean, it's ridiculous. Like, yeah, I don't see how Jim Jeffries, uh, a shock jock, should be uh, questioning DNC. It would be the one question of DNC about uh, saying cum dumpster. But yeah, uh, like I, it's dumb. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. As always, enjoy the comics, and you guys have a great day.